Hello, everybody. So great that so many of you are joining already for the boring opening ceremony. Um, I hope I can make it less boring by telling you a bit about how um, this is all going to work in this online setup, which we certainly didn't expect when we were planning for this conference. Um, and I will also introduce uh, what do we hope to get out of the Solidity Summit as well as who's on the team and everything you need to know to survive uh, the next two days with us. So I think we are good to go. That means I will share my screen with you now and we can get started. So the first life hack for everybody who will present after me is that you click share your screen and then you click on your camera again so that you can see both the speaker as well as their slides. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm super happy that you are all here. My name is Franziska and I will be uh, your host and moderator for the next two days, except for the open discussion sessions where we will have expert moderators leading you through the sessions. Um, we're super happy to have you all here. Uh, this is our very first Solidity Summit. It was expected to be an in-person event in Berlin, but due to the Corona crisis, which is happening right now, obviously we are not hosting an in-person conference, but we switched everything to be an online conference. And yeah, we hope that this uh, will work out fine. This is certainly new to run for us um, to be hosting an online conference, but we are super happy to do this together with the Interspace team. And we hope that all of you will have a smooth experience. Um, in order to have such a smooth experience, I already um, sent you some instructions, um, but I will also walk you through how everything will work again so that everybody knows how to get the best out of this conference. So. Firstly, welcome uh, to everybody. And uh, why are we even hosting this event? So obviously we want to get people involved um, and interested in the Solidity language together and want uh, them to be able to exchange um, about the topics that they're interested in. Um, we certainly want to exchange experiences and discuss language design and tooling together because uh, the developers of the Solidity language um, certainly have some questions for you who are using the Solidity language on um, how the language design should be moving forward. Uh, we hope that those discussions will actually then result in uh, improvement proposals, which will definitely impact the actual implementation of the Solidity language and you will. And uh, we don't only want to foster the communication between the Solidity team, so us and you guys, but we also want to foster the communication between teams that are working on maybe the same or similar topics. Uh, so that you are aware of each other and maybe you can collaborate moving forward. Um, and yeah, ultimately also we want to obviously identify uh, needs for the smart contract ecosystem for Ethereum and derive uh, steps forward together. So yeah, first of all, meet the Solidity team. Those are all the people who were officially working on uh, the Solidity language at the moment, but obviously this is an unexhaustive list. We have so many open source contributors that are either contributing by um, reporting bugs or by requesting features or by just joining the conversations with us. So this is um, just the official team that I'm listing here. And uh, if there are some people from the official team in the um, in the Jitsi room right now, feel free to turn on your camera really briefly so that people can see you. Um, also, there's the, yeah, hey guys. <laughs> also, there's all of the GitHub handles from the team there. So in case you have questions, um, you can just add them in the GitHub channel and then you can um, discuss with them over there. So now, how to Solidity Summit. Um, this conference is, as I already mentioned, powered by Interspace, which is a new open source initiative to basically bring online conferencing to the blockchain space and maybe even beyond, let's see. Um, they already produced some great events in the past, for example, the NonCon, um, which was, I think, the first conference where Interspace was used, and then also uh, a virtual hackathon East Turin, and I believe there will be much more events coming up in the future. 
So what does this mean? This conference is facilitated by a couple of tools, which I hope will make the collaboration and interaction between all of us during the conference um, smooth and easy and will almost feel as if we are all in the same room together. Um, it's powered by Jitsi mostly. Jitsi is this open source conferencing tool and video conferencing tool which we are using right now. Um, so there's one main conference room. This is a single track event, so everything will happen in this main room. Um, there's the lobby room, which you can use to hang out, for example, in breaks, if you want to try out Jitsi, if you want to just chat casually with people who are hanging around. Um, you can also create your own breakout rooms. So basically, if you want to take a discussion further and it's um, not part of the agenda anymore, you can create your own breakout room. And then um, you can distribute the link of this breakout room to the people who are interested, for example, using the Gitter chat. Um, we are using YouTube for the live stream. So if you are watching via the live stream right now already, you might know that um, we're using the Ethereum Foundation YouTube account and you can find the live stream link also on the Interspace portal. Um, we will be using the GitHub chat, uh, Solidity GitHub chat for the Q&A sessions and for coordination. So in case you have any question for a speaker during an open discussion session or whatever, feel free to just put your question there and um, the moderators will relay the questions. Um, we have agendas in a Google Sheet as well as also in a Google Calendar. So if you want to create your own, oops, if you want to create your own individual um, itinerary, you can do that by going to the Google Calendar entry and just copying the, the agenda points that you would like to see. In the open discussion sessions, we will use HackMDs um, to take collaborative notes. And those uh, HackMDs are also always listed in the agenda points. If you're participating uh, today or tomorrow or even both days of the event, you are also um, able to claim a proof of attendance protocol token, um, which will verify that you attended this event. And for very ad hoc coordination, in case all other technology that I've just listed above uh, fails us, we also have a Telegram group um, for emergency coordination in case this room breaks down or whatever needs to be coordinated. I will be sure to put it in the Telegram group as well as in the GitHub channel. So that's basically that. And you might ask yourself, but where do I find all of those links? Crazy, right? So don't you worry. Just go to interspace.solidity-summit.ethereum.org if you aren't there already. And there you will really find everything you need um, in one place. And um, as I was outlining before, you, for example, find the collaborative notes in the description of the open discussion session if you click on agenda. So how does this Jitsi thing work? I've made a screenshot when I was uh, doing a conference all on my own. Um, so if, in case you open the Jitsi room in another browser tab, which I think is the recommended um, option to do so if you are, for example, a speaker, um, then this might look similar to you. And uh, there's, uh, Jitsi is very easy to use, actually super straightforward. There's a few features. You can share your screen. Sharing your screen is on the left in the corner in, on the bottom. You can raise your hand, which might be a, yeah, Excite Surfer is raising his hand, for example. You can do that in case you want to speak um, so that in an open discussion session or whatever a moderator can see you want to say something. Um, you have the microphone settings in the middle where you can also choose which mic you would want to be using. You can quit the meeting in the middle and you can also change your camera settings um, there. And then on the right hand side uh, on the bottom, you have other settings. Um, you can change the view and you can um, click on the eye to know which is the room URL, but you can also know that just by seeing your browser tab. Um, yeah, and you can also set yourself a name. And as I see, almost everybody who's in the room already did so. So basically by clicking on your uh, video or by clicking on the set settings, you can give yourself a username. But this sounds as if everybody already did so. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to mention that you can click on the help button in the sidebar of the inner space. And there's a description of the Jitsi interface if you didn't catch everything that, that Francie said. Absolutely, exactly. And then um, 
what's the recommended setup? So Jitsi has this maximum participants uh, of 75 participants per room limit. Um, I don't think that we will reach this limit, but to ensure a smooth uh, experience for everybody, in case you don't plan on actively being involved, AKA uh, speaking or discussing actively in a session, I would always recommend you to go for the live stream um, because it also saves your CPU. Obviously, you can switch between live stream and uh, participating in the Jitsi room directly, depending on the session. If you just want to listen in, you go watch the live stream. If you want to really actively participate, you uh, join the room. So feel free to, you know, jump around and switch around between those two. Uh, talk to us in GitHub for Q&A. And yeah, just a FYI, the live stream uh, by nature has a little delay. So if you really actively want to discuss in such an open discussion session, I would recommend you to join the GC meeting because otherwise you will be uh, one minute late more or less <laughs> to the discussion. Yeah, then how do you survive uh, nine, nine hours online uh, per day? Obviously you, you don't need to participate in every single sec, uh, session, but I would love you to do so because I think it's all really relevant and interesting content. So yeah, just a few quick reminders, which you might already be aware of, but I just wanted to let you know again, uh, please uh, don't forget over all of this cool conferencing to drink something, depending on your time of the day, coffee, tea, club mate, beer, water, whatever you prefer. Uh, don't forget to eat also, yeah. Uh, don't forget to get up and stretch your legs sometimes and also have a screen break for your eyes. So just watch out of the window or go watch your kids if they are playing around at home at the moment uh, during Corona. And yeah, you can also open the YouTube live stream on your phone. So in case you need to go somewhere or just want to wander around a little bit, that's also an option. Okay, last but not least, let's have a quick look at what is going to happen today together at the agenda. So this is the agenda. You might um, be familiar already with it. We are currently here. I'm doing the opening. Right after that, Chris will... Um, present us the Solidity 2020 roadmap. After this, we have a nice talk coming up from Ricard and Shang Wei about uh, the K-Framework and K-Solidity. After this, we will um, look at a source level formal verification tool together with Akos. Then we will have a presentation on Satora. Then we will learn something about D-Type and um, Chainlens, which are two tools developed by Loredana. Then we will hear about some thoughts on language design and fragmentation from Alex. And then um, in the afternoon, we start with the open discussion sessions. Um, they always start in the afternoon because we want to give also um, the Americas a chance to participate in those. So we will start with the first discussion on safe math by default, moderated by Chris. Then we will have a break. Then we will have a discussion on libraries 2.0, moderated by Chris again. Then we will receive a nice introduction on Yule Plus from Nick Dodson. And after that, we will also have a discussion on new features for Yule moderated by Alex. Then we will learn something about the SOL compiler. Um, then there will be another open discussion on upgradable contracts, another short break, uh, another discussion on fixed point types, then tracking mapping keys with a truffle debugger by Harry, and um, consecutively also a truffle debugger demo and uh, followed by a debugging data discussion. You might uh, notice that one talk is missing today. Unfortunately, one of our speakers fell sick. So we will not hear about curiosities in solidity development from Nick. Um, and that's why the fixed point types discussion has been moved up a little bit. Yeah, and that's almost it from my side so long. Um, I hope you will have fun and enjoy the upcoming talks and discussions. And uh, please feel free to ping me with any feedback you might have. Uh, I'm underscore Franzi High on Twitter and Franzi High everywhere else. So have fun and enjoy. And with that, without further ado, I hand the mic over to Chris.